before we understand about head and tail commands let me create a file with 18 to 20 lines of input i have created here an input file with 18 lines you can see that using nl command there are 18 lines in this text file head command is used to display contents from the line number one by default it displays 10 lines if you want just five lines you have to specify hyphen five if you want 15 lines you have to specify hyphen 15. tail command is exact opposite of head command it displays content from the bottom it displays last 10 lines if you want to just see last five lines tail command is very useful in production monitoring environments for monitoring log files if something happened on your system you can quickly come to your log directory and say tail hyphen 20 and the file name you can quickly see what happened from the last 20 lines you can quickly gauze what happened on your system sometimes we use tail hyphen f head tail dot text let me open a duplicate session if some program writes testing tail hyphen f to this head tail dot text file if a database system or a front-end application some log rotation application writes any new line into this log file or an output file whoever is monitoring with this tail hyphen f command they can see the new messages this is quite commonly used in production support environments especially at l1 and l2 level the people who monitor database systems or middleware systems or application programs they use this command a lot to come out of this tail hyphen f i'm pressing ctrl c that's it for this lecture